so welcome to another vlog oops so today is just me basically letting you guys know that i'm starting the wedding vlog series and hopefully from next month i'll start you know dropping it out i'll start dropping it on youtube not this month at all because i have to like get all the videos ready at once so that once i drop the first one second one third one can just come all at the same time so i'm working on those videos so expect them from next month then um going to the gym very soon currently trying to finish up my cooking guys i didn't want to keep a cooking video on um instagram and it's been doing well it has literally blown up even on tiktok it did so well and I used to want to do cooking videos, but I felt like, <laughs> who's going to watch them? Let's believe that when I have the strength, I'm going to be filming every single thing I cook. Because I don't cook all the time, but when I, I want to start like filming and putting it out, I notice that people like it a lot. I don't know why, <laughs> but I'm going to do what works for my page. So definitely going to do more of that. Um, What's up in my life? I don't even know what's going on in my life. Just know that I'm in the thick of wedding planning. I have my YouTube graduation on tomorrow yeah tomorrow april 5th or 4th i think today is third so april 4th is tomorrow thursday i have my youtube graduation then i'm going for fittings and then i need to also stop and pick up some jewelry so i took down the previous hair i was carrying because it was already looking old and scattered and everything but i'm going to start wearing my wigs so this is my like new protective style also got my nails done love them i don't think i've gotten anything this short in a long while but they're very very cute it's very very easy to use i wanted something that because i'll be very active this period i needed something that will not stress me if i'm trying to open my glasses or pin my hair or like put in my contact lenses i won't be struggling so got this one also got my toenails done you can't see but yeah they look cute too so yeah beauty treatment check gone i think by saturday i'll go get waxed I'm going to go get a full body wax on Saturday and then yeah that I'll be done with my beauty treatment for a month. I've grown my brows already so they're looking good. Yeah, wash my makeup brushes guys. I don't know why, but like it takes me so long to wash my makeup brushes. And the fact that I know that I'm supposed to washing them regularly so that when I put on makeup is really good because when there's a lot of um makeup build up on your brushes when you start doing your makeup it starts to look you know tacky or break down or just basically does not apply well on your face so i've washed it so i'm hoping that my next makeup look is going to bang so i'll probably film it you know <laughs> for you guys anyway so let me go and get prepared and go to the gym guys i fell off my i fell off my waist loft <laughs> guys i fell off my waist what is going on I still love my weight loss um, journey, but I'm getting back on track. The last one or two weeks have been very hectic for me. So I have not like kept to my, you know, plan, but I'm getting back on track. Hopefully from today, then we'll see what April has in store for us. But so far, I haven't reached my goal yet. I'm like I said, I'm not rushing myself. I'm not going to stress myself because I already have a lot going on, so I don't push myself too much. But like I haven't reached where I want to be yet, but I still have, you know, like two or three months. So okay, because this body has been banging. This body has been banging for my wedding. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for the wedding series. <laughs> you guys should be excited, so don't worry. I'm gonna be sharing. I don't think I'll be posting on my Instagram or TikTok yet, so, but for YouTube, you all gonna eat good. For the most of me, you probably eat good because a lot of things, like, would have been done and, you know, finished by then. So, you'll be getting it first before YouTube and before Instagram. Yeah, so, I love you guys. Okay, bye. <music> to find an outfit for my youtube graduation event today and the thing or the dress code is casual so casual vibes which is very easy i just have to get something from my wardrobe i'm thinking of wearing like sneakers and jeans with a top but then i don't know whether that would be too casual or i can wear heels and a gown i don't know but let's just see what i have in my wardrobe because i really don't even know what to be at this point then i just finished making turkey stew and white rice so i started vlogging on my cooking 
for Instagram because I've seen that it does well. So I also post it on YouTube Shorts. You must have seen the last recipe video. So yeah, I just finished filming that for IG. Want to get my clothes ready. I really hope they bring back the lights because I need to iron. If I don't iron, I don't know where I'm going to do. And then stop for sittings with the um fashion designer and that's basically for today. So I think I found an outfit that can work. So we're going with this cute brattle, then this baggy jeans and a shirt, mostly for just cover of cover of shirts and a belt. I think I'm going to carry it with sneakers or a pair of black heels, but that's basically it. I'm not doing too much. So Another day, another Lagos wedding. So this is my first wedding of the year. Yeah, right. So I'm not actually going for the wedding. They're having like a court ceremony. So they're in court. But we're going for lunch after, which is in a few hours. I just finished doing my makeup. I want to see if I can film something before I go. It's quite hot. So I really want to shoot a get ready with me. But it's very, very hot. I'm still like considering it. But let's see how it goes. We're going to either grasp Lagos or Eriques. I'm not really sure which one. But yeah, my makeup is busting today. Love it. Don't want to start sweating. <laughs> because this heat is annoying. That's why I don't do my makeup anymore. I think I'm just going to come and film some TikTok videos and see how that goes. But I can't wear my wig yet because that's going to make me sweat faster. But yeah. Makeup check. You guys have never seen me tie rapper on this channel. I used to tie rapper at home. <laughs> I'm my mother's daughter. God. Anyways, let me get ready. Should I show you guys my outfit? Mm, let me see. So I'm wearing this silk shirt. And pairing it with this really skinny jeans. It's really what well, I did like a corporate combo. A casual jean combo like this. And for the shoes, I'm wearing these shoes. To go along with it. Then this bag and this shade. So it's pretty much chill. It's not like a full blown wedding reception. It's just close family members and friends going to have lunch. So I just wanted to have a chill, you know, classy, casual look. So this is what I'm going for. I'm really tempted to do a get ready with me. Should I? Let's see. Get your attention Can I come close? I don't know how to play this Our hands touch once or twice Feeling kind of hypnotized I'm looking at you And I feel the tension You know This could be like heaven Oh my god I haven't filmed in days I haven't vlogged for you guys in days Because I have been so caught up With the usual You already know what I'm caught up with <laughs> Um, yeah, I've had like a very busy couple of days trying to put things in place, trying to plan, literally drenched to sweat. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but like, I'm starting to sweat. The weather is so hot in Lagos. I'm tired of talking about weather. I'm tired of complaining about weather. But it's just annoying me at this point. Ugh! 
So I got a couple of things over um, the past few days. Just want to do a little unboxing and show you guys everything I got. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start with this. So I got new perfumes. I really just want to invest in smelling good and looking good this year. And the best way to do that is to get good perfume. Like, you don't want to be stinking when you go out. So I got this from made sense on ig she had like a store opening and i went for her store opening and bought a few items on a good discount so i got my usual victoria secrets bear vanilla girls if you want to smell sweet and delicious you should get this um victoria secrets bear vanilla right now i got it on sales so on sales it was for 14k but i think it should be like 20k now it's now very pricey and then I got this red vanilla from Zara. This is a Zara perfume. And these two combined. <laughs> so I love you. You don't already know I love like vanilla perfumes. I love sweet floral scents. Like I just want to be smelling sweet and delicious. I don't want to be, I don't like my perfumes too intense, like oud intense. But I like it, like when I pass, it's just like, <sighs> like, it just suits your soul. Like, it just brings you, like, a very calm, tranquil feeling. Yeah, that's why I like when I shop for perfumes. I also got more berries weekend. This is what I use. If you've been on my channel, if you followed me for a while, you know I recommend this perfume. It is affordable, relatively, and it smells so good. This box is, um, I think I got for 13k, again, on sales. So I think it's going to be more expensive. I got this one from a different brand. I think their name is... Oh, they didn't write their name here. They are on IG as wholesale perfumes and beyond. I think I'm just going to put their IG handle here so you guys. So I got this. It smells really good. If you're on a budget and you want to smell expensive and sweet, then you should get berries we can think edition. It's so good. I think I have an empty case. Very beautiful, very sexy. I am good to go. I heard about another new perfume called Suto. I really don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is by Latafa. If you know Latafa perfumes are the best. So this is Suto by Latafa. I tried their tester on when I went to the store. I just wanted to see like if it actually meets the hype. And yeah, it did kinda, kind of. Like I'm still waiting for it to grow on me, but it has this flowery, you know, mox wood feeling to it but it's also very sweet smelly it's good for like women and it has a hint of vanilla i'm not very sure but you should get this this is also relatively affordable this is a um, 20 1000 air 21000 air and it wasn't on discount so this is the normal price i don't want to unbox it yet because i want to be a bit of unboxing so i can't share this yet but maybe when i unbox it for my next video i'll show you guys what it looks like so next i got this essential oil like a refill for the humidifier and it comes in like six different flavors okay, follow yeah so these are the flavors so we have sweet orange tea tree lavender lemongrass eucalyptus and peppermint so those are the flavors i mean scents and they smell so 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 good i'll show you guys what my humidifier looks like later on then i thrifted new gym wear because though i'm a gym girly and where i thrift my gym wear they're like very high quality um gym wear like uk us european brands got this pants and then this to match and you can really tell the quality by just looking at it. It's very thick. They're both very, very thick. And very, you know, stretchy. Great for like squats and all of that. So this is one. This is another one. This is Jim Sharp. What's the name of this brand? I didn't check it. But this is Jim Sharp. So it came in like a two-piece. And this is what it looks like. I love when long hand gym wears have this like hole here that you can just put your hand in like this. Love it. Just this is sexy vibe. I don't know. But yeah, this gym shark. I wear it in a size medium. I also got gym socks. I got Nike stockings. Um, I already have one Nike stockings. So I got two more white socks and a gray socks and then black. 
But that's like five. I'm going to try with my old ones because they're already like, I don't know, they're already bad, Sha. So this is uh, size 41. I think they're 92. Yeah. So this is why we're going to stay at home because I'm kind of working there. So the last one I had cut, so I just had to discard it quickly. I don't know. I was not vlogging in 2021. I don't think so. But there was a time I was obsessed with this Orango headset in 2021. No, 2020, 2021, yeah. I used this. I used it until it actually spoiled. So the one I got was the one that was done by Two Face. I love that headset. Oh my God. So I got this one from Orimo yesterday and let me just tell you Orimo has low-key great products I don't know why people don't talk about them enough I love Orimo products literally almost every gadget in my house is an Orimo product earbuds speaker um chargers the charger head USB cords headsets like literally almost anything electronic is Orimo so Orimo if you're watching this video sign me up I have to be your brand ambassador also got um what's this called the charger head from Orimo 2 for my humidifier. So I'm going to unbox this in a TikTok video. I can't unbox it now, but this is basically what it looks like. I like it because you can hang it on your neck and then remove it while you're doing other things and then put it back up. Like, I just love it so much. So this is what it looks like when you wear it. Like, you can see this guy. Where is it? You can see this guy here on his neck. Then the... It's giving like 90s vibe. I don't know, early 2000s. I'm really an old school girl. So when I see stuff like this, I want to get immediately I lay my hands on it. So yeah, that's it. It's me out tired at this point. <laughs> last week I got this beautiful Zara dress. Oh my god. I I don't know. I love this dress so much. I got this beautiful dress in size L. Yeah. Size L. Thank God I actually got in size L because I wanted to get in medium. And then I realized that when I even wore the size L, so this is what it looks like. I realized that when I wore the size L, my boobs were not like fully covered. <laughs> but it was better than what it would have been if I got in medium. But then I had to go like the size because my waist has trimmed down a bit. So yeah, but it's just basically like show me your back basically. What you call show me your back. So here hang it over your neck and then a low back behind here and the color is gorgeous and the material is so like the material is very thick guys um off to what am i doing this morning i want to go work out i usually work out now at home i don't know i don't know why i'm really excited to go to the gym early morning but i'm working out from home today then i'm going to drop off my oh my god i have a wedding on saturday so i'm going to drop off my clothes taylor just gave me back yesterday night so i'm going to drop it off at the dry cleaner to get ironed and then bring it back then pack because i have to leave tomorrow because we're part of like the ashwabi and bridal stuff room train whatever so i have to pack and leave tomorrow afternoon thursday then friday settling then saturday have the main ceremony then come back on sunday yeah so i got this new foundation in color I don't know if it's a color, just culture. Culture is the name. Okay, 29. I'm seeing 29 underneath here. So I've heard good things about Zaron's brown skin foundation. And I really wanted to try that because my Maybelline is almost finished. So this is what it looks like right now. I tried it on my skin and it was almost a perfect match. But you know, I haven't like worn it on the full face of makeup. So I can't tell if it's actually going to look good. But yeah, fingers crossed. They matched it to my skin when I went to get it. Hopefully that's it. And then the best beauty blender I've ever used so far. This is from Frank and Madiva Cosmetics. Very, very soft. Let me show you guys. And I love this cute bag it comes in. Literally this, and I haven't put water on it yet, but it is so, so, so soft, like squishy soft. And that's why I got it again. I already have one, but I just wanted to have a second one, just in case it goes out of stock and I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, I think it was like one five, and this foundation is how much is this foundation now? I think it was twelve k. I don't know. The total view came to fourteen, so I'm guessing this is either two k and twelve k or one five, and I don't know. But sure, that was like the price range for both of them. So that's basically it. I'll see you maybe later today or even at the wedding. I don't know. <laughs> but let's pray that. Yeah, I'll see you guys definitely.
hey guys so i just arrived at the hotel for the wedding i'll be attending so i'll be here till sunday today is thursday uh, because the groom is a very close friend of my fiance so we're here to support him and help him out you know planning and all of that so this is me basically i think the name of this um hotel is farms embassy suites in badagri um i think it's one of the best hotels in badagri and that says a lot but <laughs> i'm gonna close my mouth anyways just order dinner um order peppered meat and peppered goods meat salad and turkey too like just just ordered everything let me just have a taste of every single thing so about to have dinner then off to sleep i've been sleeping non-stop i don't know why i'm so tired but for like the past few days i've been sleeping and waking up sleeping and waking up that has been like my schedule but i just want to be well rested um yeah that's it for now and this is already past seven i already like laid out my outfits and everything and guys the view from this place in the morning literally this orange hue you're seeing i had to like lower the exposure because it was so orange like literally i could see the sunrise from my room let me show you guys like can you see it's dark now because i lowered the exposure but like it is so so good Imagine waking up to this view every day. Love it. I already laid out my outfits and everything. I also got someone to get me a fan yesterday because I totally forgot to bring my own fan. I know that today is going to be crazy, like the heat and the hustle and bustle. I don't want to sweat out my makeup. And yeah, let me just quickly show you guys my outfits and then wait for my makeup artist to come because I have to go. I want to film a couple of videos before she comes or like after she goes and i have to go get breakfast breakfast ends by 10 so let me just quickly brush and go down and get breakfast so this is my outfit all laid out we've got jewelry bangle necklace earring got my um i don't know gown shoes purse. so i was going for like a gold and green theme because the theme of their wedding is um olive green and gold so that was just what i was playing around here with and this is what we have let's look at it from this angle i just realized i didn't do a room tour so the look of this room is like vintage ornamental and so that's why you have like paintings and all this wooden stuff here and there that's the like bench area the sitting area and the tv area sorry this room is very scattered <laughs> um tv table fridge there's a mirror here one thing i didn't like about this hotel was the fact that there's no full -length mirror then this is the balcony area where you can just come and have a view god this view is marvelous i think i should step out i haven't stepped out of here let's see Ooh. okay guys we have got a view damn so this is what I wake up to every morning now. Yep. Bye. Okay, so for the bathroom, this is what we're working with. <sighs> Apparently, this is the best hotel in Badagri. So yeah, this is what we're working with. Sink, mirror, too high. Like literally can't even see my <laughs> face. I don't know. Shower caddy, toes. Basically, that's it for this bathroom. Yeah okay so let me just go and prepare we have a long day today so see you guys 